smash.gg forward slash breakthrough. Yeah. Oh, man, you never have to worry about all the PR, man. You just make it right there. Yeah, get that, uh, get that mad pride money. Of course, YMCA rocking the Donkey Kong ever since Smash 4. Um, I definitely feel like Donkey Kong not as good as he was in Smash 4, so uh, that's why YMCA does have his Wario. He does have a um, pocket Wario. He didn't pocket anyone in Smash 4, but now he's got that Wario on deck, which I, I'm, I'm glad to see. I don't, I don't think DK is so amenable at all. You, you, uh, I would say he's not so amenable for sure. No, I, I think no he, I think you can try like, for an example, we see Shine and other great DK here in SoCal, but he doesn't so many DK. I feel like Shine does a really good job playing anti-meta. Whoa, that up there gonna kill Snake at a ridiculous early, even though he's a heavyweight. Yeah, I mean outside of Donkey Kong's tilt, um, his aerials are really solid. Back air extremely fast. Up air um, has intent ability on it. It's very very wide. So good for juggling or juggling. Yeah. Alright, looking to recover here. Great directional air dodge to make sure he secures the lining here. Puts the grenade right in the place where YMCA was looking to escape. Great play here because he knew the minute I put myself at the corner, he's looking to get away away from me. Because Snake does so much well at edge guard. He has so many tools. Okay, right now YMCA kind of slowing it down. All right, oh, gets, man. If he gets a grab, yeah. If he gets a grab, he puts him on the platform. Oh, you're dead. Oh, wait. Oh, wow, that was great a mash. Yeah, that was really bad. I heard, I heard that mashing from here, and I got headphones on. There's the new Vita, though. He, he was really good in smash, uh, at smashing, uh, I'm sorry, mashing stick, even back in Smash 4. Oh, okay. Yeah, that definitely uh, transfers well for this game. Well, pretty uh, greedy play from Key right there. Put himself right on the ledge here. The back air barrage. Oh, watch the lining here. Nearly got away from. Ooh. Parry into the jab, and once again, the up air to seal it out. He's kind of catching key going for a lot of aerials. And I feel like YMCA does a really good job understanding like how the Cypher works. Ooh. You have to have a move that kills that damage-based armor. Oh, wow. He's picked up the grenade with the dash tag. I was wondering why he didn't detonate it. Yeah, well, there's a dash tag. It sets up for the double smash. At double anti here. Solid pressure on the shield. YMCA knows the right play to make here. It's just a simple roll. All right, YMCA is definitely trying to do him dirty right now. He is. And key says no, man. Now, YMCA is definitely no stranger. Um, we said he's not on the PR, but he de has definitely taken PR oh, wins, and that... Oh, that will not be it. Yeah, right there. Catching the ledge drop double jump there with the stomp, and with no double jump, YMCA had no hope of getting back. Oh, big damage here. Right. Combo off the grenade. The forward tell Van Key all the way coming back from the loser side of what was this game. YMCA pushes forward with dash tag, but like I said, he knows what DK might be going for, and having the grenade to supplement that and stop him for it, Really great opportunity. Watch the landing though. That's where YMCA's been catching him. Dude, in a matter of like 20 seconds, he just did over 100 damage. He's like, boom, 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 boom. Oh, that's it though. The up Heavy beat. Yeah, still kill him. Ooh. He brought it back, but I mean, I feel like I'm, I hate, I hate that move on the ground because personally, to me, I hate to discredit anybody going for it, but it feels so unga bunga. Like you just go for it because you have so much armor. It does so much damage, yep. and it, it brings your opponent to the ledge. There's like three benefits in one. You just toss it out and yeah, gonna do the trick. Definitely um, covers like spot dodging roll. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, obviously if you just shield the whole thing, but it does a decent amount of shield damage too. I've seen that move shield poke as well. Oh yeah. Um, I don't know how low key shield was, but uh, I, I feel like this game number two is gonna be a little bit a little bit scary because I feel like even though YMCA won that game, mm -hmm. the momentum is gonna be on key side going to game number two. Yeah. He's really good. At, he's very good at momentum-based plays. He's really good at swinging the momentum in his favor when he's just yeah. like when the chips are down. Look at look at that third stock. Like, yeah. Dang. <laughs> That's kind of like what earned him like one of the rights to be one of the best players in the U18. Is like he just really he takes momentum in his favor as soon as it comes and he just jumps over. Yeah, that was only two hits, but wow, wow! Look at that down tilt range. Ridiculous. Please don't nerf that. <laughs> you know, man, some characters just need that range. Oh, getting back to the ledge here. Nikita prop a little bit up. Great play. I like it. You know what? I'll take the I take the percent, but you take the grenade. Oh yeah, that oh. cipher. Such wow. a saving grace. Ooh. Catching the jump though, no double jump here on YMCA. And the way that Kiki played it too is he let go of the ledge enough for YMCA to feel like an aerial might have been the right play, but unfortunately you're not that safe. Oh man, and up I'll smash instead of Nikita. Wow, okay. YMCA is going to get back. Oh, on. and that was all in play. Yeah, there was like so much things going on. I was like, I was like, is he is the final hit off the grenade for like knockback wise? But yeah, was the forward tilt and oof. 
we even questioned, like, why no Nikita? And then immediately he just brought it back around. It's like, this is why I don't use Nikita right now. Yeah, opted to go with the, uh, the up smash sledge traps. We try to get a roll, but off stage situation. I'm seeing any pretty greedy with some of these uh, double jumps back on the stage. Yo, man, she already said yes to the date. You don't have to pay more money, dude. Relax. Oh. Take your time. Take your time. Ooh, there's the armor. And I'm saying it, right? Like, I feel like he just threw it out because he knew he had armor. And like you like said, wanted to catch a spot dodge. He knew, like, he knew you know, I'm not going to cover that the second time. Okay, but the forward smash. Oh, off the top. Once again, going for these double jumps, trying to go up and over some of these up smashes, which is... It's hard to do, man, especially as Donkey Kong. Oh, watch the landing key. He got hit by the media backer. He's got two stocks to his name and 75%. Harry, him with the smash, great anti air. And YMC, this time, a little bit patience of the recovery. Oh, yeah, he definitely tried to get that forward air. Oh, there's the Sets grab. Grenade. It's not going to kill, uh, but it's really good because it's going to exhaust how far he can go. Great recovery, though. Oh, yep, barely missing the stage there. Would have definitely been untechable. What, what a trick play. Oh, there's the upbeat. Oh, oh and he fell out. The yeah. Oh, we'll tried to hit him with forward smash. Wow, oh, enemy chaser. Nice. Immediately drop down. Wait for that shield oh. to go. Extra load. He wanted the shield break. Yeah. Greedy. Yeah, very, very close to the shield break, but not quite enough. He got. He stuck him. Oh, yeah, dang. He stuck him. Oh, no, he didn't get him. So it, it, sometimes when you stick someone um, and you like just get an interaction, it could just stick right back on you, which is what happens. So yeah, right there, Key doing a really good job cleaning up that game at number two. Now it is one one. Yeah, there's a lot of things you can say in SoCal. You don't give the IE a tournament to Shark, and you don't give the eight one eight momentum. And that's kind of like what you said, right? Key took a lot of momentum from what he had the last game. Yeah, brought it over to this game, and it was just. All right, man, let's go ahead and put another, uh, another pretty much punch in the clock in the office and see what I can do the next time. Game number three. I, I don't see YMC switching off onto the Wario. Yeah, Dong Kong looks pretty fine here. I feel like there's just certain situations where he doesn't want to be, like, forcing himself in, yeah. especially against these up smashes. Sometimes you, if a snake's up smashing, just, like, cool, man. Who do you, man? Who yeah. do you, man? Oh, man oh, that's so big damage. 52% and climbing all the way from the beginning. And the thing about having Smash Roll is you have that static mono plot right in the middle, and it's essentially really, really wide. It kind of covered key in that one situation so well. Oh, yeah, there's that up air being a very huge move is nice for Juggling Snake. But sometimes, and there it is again, the double jump onto the, oh, dang. It's, it's such a good way because at this point in the game, YMC is very frustrated with how Key is going for up smash, but he's also scared because he knows the usual Snake plays go for Nikita. And he wants to avoid that, so he's going for an aerial, and that's why he keeps running the other smash. Yeah, I just, I, I feel like game one YMC, we saw a lot of grounded tilts. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it, like, it, we, we saw a lot more grounded Donkey Kong. Wow, I'm surprised he did not get it by a down below. I believe you still have invincibility when you're... Um, there it is. Ah, uh, that's what hurts. Yeah, I mean, that's why he picked Smashville, but... On the contrary, though, I do think Smashville is really, really good for uh, setup-based characters. Yeah. Because controlling the center stage, oh, don't don't get up oh, into the light. I was going to say, man, you need, at this point, he just need to control the whole edge at that point. And so center stage, why take it, man? want to have the whole right side. Well, yeah, and the thing is, too, like, get-up attack actually works in this game. So whenever you see someone charging any smash attack and they're within get-up, yeah, boom. Yeah, get-up attack. You, can, you will always beat it out. In Smash 4, you could go for get-up attack, and sometimes you would trade. And then you ask why. <laughs> and then you're like, what's the point of get up attack? But in this game, get up attack is actually usable. It's good. Fun fact, uh, get up attack is referred to by Nintendo as edge attack, actually. Edge attack. Yeah. So when you see the, the patch notes come back, uh, if it says edge attack increased or decreased, uh, it means get up attack. Oh, down here? Oh, I like it. Stalls himself yeah. out because he knew he wanted to go for there. And he just shakes it off. He knew he made the, the big play with no snake around him. Yeah. YMC trying to get the edge guard started, but sunk a little too low with that side B, unfortunately, and not going to be able to get back. That is one of the bigger nerfs for Donkey Kong. Yeah. You can't really go for those big off-stage plays anymore like yeah. you were used to back in Smash 4. You kind of have to like give, give yourself a little bit of time and understand like when should I go for back air, a stage spike probably, or just read the get-up. Yeah. I was like... Um, I was actually surprised too that he went for the the back throw, stage spike. I feel like you got to give Key a little bit more.